We're going to be a manufacturing powerhouse and allow us to reclaim a supply chain that has been offshored to the world because of unfair trade issues. We also provide brand new intellectual property protections for biologic drugs, which will make North America a haven for medical innovation and development. We want our drugs to be made here. When you talk prescription drugs, we don't like getting them from foreign countries. We don't know what's happening with those drugs, how they're being made. Too important. This landmark agreement will send cash and jobs pouring into the United States and into North America. Good for Canada, good for Mexico. Instead of jobs leaving for overseas, they will be returning back home. And we've already had it. We have many, many car companies. I was with Prime Minister Abe of Japan. He said, we have sent many car companies to the United States over the last year and a half. It's true. And big expansions. And very importantly, he said, many more are coming because they have an incentive now to be here. People want to be back in the United States again. As I say, the United States is respected again, but it's also respected as to trade and industry. This is a truly extraordinary agreement for the United States, Canada, and Mexico. President Peñeto, it's so important uh, that the President and I have developed uh, this sort of a bond, a bond on trade. Peña Nieto, a man that has done a very good job for Mexico in terms of trade, and Prime Minister Trudeau, who I just spoke to, just spoke to both of them a little while ago, uh, they love their countries. They want to do right for their countries, and that's what they've done. And we've really formed, if you look at this agreement, we formed a great partnership with Mexico and with Canada. And I plan to sign the agreement by the end of November. I then will submit it for approval to Congress, where, in theory, there should be no trouble. But anything you submit to Congress is trouble, uh, no matter what. It's the single greatest agreement ever signed. They'll say, well, you know, Trump likes it, therefore, we're not going to approve it, because that would be good for the Republicans. So, therefore, we can't approve it. But it will be uh, sent to Congress pursuant to the Trade Promotion Authority Act. This agreement follows on the heels of our successful completion of a new and balanced trade deal with South Korea. Tremendous difference in that deal from what it was. It was a disaster, as I said. To improve the old deal that had killed so many jobs, it also follows on our announcement last week of a new trade negotiation with Japan. Japan would never negotiate with the United States. They say, we're not going to negotiate. They told the previous administration, we're not going to negotiate. I said, you don't have to negotiate, but we're going to put a very, very substantial tax on your car if you don't. By the way, without tariffs, we wouldn't be talking about a deal. Just for those babies out there that keep talking about tariffs. That includes Congress. Oh, please don't charge tariffs. Without tariffs, you wouldn't be — we wouldn't be standing here. I can tell you, Bob and all of these folks would not be standing here right now. And we're totally prepared to do that if they don't negotiate. But Japan is uh, — wanting to negotiate. Actually, they called about three weeks ago. And he's a terrific man, a terrific — just had a tremendous victory. And uh, they said, we'd like to start negotiations immediately. India, which is the tariff king, they called us and they say, we want to start negotiations immediately. When Bob Lighthizer said, what happened? You would never do this. They said, no. We want to keep your president happy. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? It's true. They have to keep us happy because they understand that we're wise to what's been happening. India charges tariffs of 100 percent. And then if we want to put a tariff of 25 percent on, people will call from Congress. But that's not free trade. And I'd look back to people and say, where did these people come from?